War Thunder has a lot of vehicles that are known for being a bit overpowered, with one of the most infamous being the German KV-1B, but we're not going to be playing that today. We're going to be playing the KV-1C, which is essentially the same thing except it gets a bigger gun. This thing is insanely good, so let's give it a shot. I think the only real downside this thing has is that it doesn't have a good woodland camo. It only gets desert or snow. That's it. So, not great for blending in on most maps. Hello, bad man. Oh, he is getting just absolutely eaten by an SAV. And then we just bop. Get another one. Oh my god, back up. Back up immediately. Yeah, let's, uh, let's not peek that again. If you couldn't tell just by looking, we do have the same long 75 as later Panzer IV variants, so... Yeah, pretty decent cannon. Huh? Uh, how... how did that not... <laughs> how did that not pen? Okay, gunner, loader... Somehow didn't kill his breach, that's quite strange. Okay, another T-34 down. I think what happened with that KV-1 is the, uh... bug where objects that shouldn't eat rounds do. Excuse you, sir. Uh, that did not do a whole lot, did it? <laughs> okay, ARL-44 is dead. Oh, that's the not-so-scary version, actually. So, I did not have much to worry about. Yep, just waiting for this guy to move. No, you can keep on going. Keep going. Keep going. Thank you. Okay, that's his breach dead, I hope. Nope, his breach is perfectly fine. Thank goodness. Jeez Louise. What? <laughs> I'm trying to make a last stand. <laughs> what? Brother, what? What even are Soviet tanks, dog? Seriously, man, I just don't get it. So many of those Soviet tanks we were fighting just did not take damage when they absolutely should have. Okay, engine, radiator. Die, please. Thank you. Okay, first of all, rude. <laughs> I couldn't even see that guy. <laughs> Oh, that was the KV-1S that was being annoying. Good riddance, sir. Hold up, that's not a guy, is it? That's a rock. Nope, that is a guy. Sometimes I wonder if I should get my eyes checked. Oh, there's a little goober. Hi, goober. How is he still alive? <laughs> uh, oh, well. If you want to ruin a KV-1C's day, just aim for that mantlet bit. It is paper thin. Oh, I just saw an M10 all the way out there, I think. Nope, that is a KV-1. There's an M10. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, no, M36, yeah. <laughs> Good thing he's out of the game. Or at least not in that tank anymore. I think I need to orient this way. I'm hearing a lot of engine noises. Yep, yep, yep. I can't even see what that is. Oh, it's a TCM. Is that my friend burning right there? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, here we go. Now our camo will be useful. But yeah, I'm not sure what the optimal way to play this is because I used to play this a ton like eight years ago. Not so much anymore. I will say that you should probably play this more like a heavy medium because your armor can work in down tiers, but not so much in up tiers. Is that a TOG? Okay, that's... Why am I even asking? That's definitely a TOG. I think we can pen his side pretty easily. If we just, uh... Nope, that was his track. You don't see me. Uh... Bop. <laughs> I love smacking people in the back of the head. Oh, that TOG got killed instantly. Wow. Why is this story email trying to do this? Buddy, you're not built for that kind of life. Oh 
Oh my god, he blocked my shot, dude. You you can't do that. You don't have a turret. Oh my god. <laughs> These teammates, dog. How did that not kill his engine? What? Please get his engine, thank you. Now, can I please pen his turret? Yay. <laughs> Am I even gonna be able to get through here? Okay, that concept just spawned a plane. I'm probably gonna get bombed. Come on, you fat sack. Is this KV-1 still alive? Oh, more than just the KV-1. And... Bop. There we go. I was quite worried that that water tower was going to eat that round completely. Even if I shot through the spars, so... Wait. Oh, there's an ASU right there! I wonder... No. No. What is preventing you from moving? Ow. Yeah, if you could not do that, man. Thank you for blinding me. <laughs> Dog, what? Get get away from me, please. Okay, th this Gaz is annoying me quite a lot, so I'm just gonna rush him. I'm gonna beeline right towards him. Get out of here, dude. So annoying. Uh. <laughs> I never go into these videos with the mindset of like, oh, I'm playing a German tank, I'll have German teammates, that's not good. I'm always neutral when I go in, but every time they disappoint me. Every single time. I mean, I'd love to help you, man, but you're kind of making it difficult with all the smoke. <clears throat> Got him. I really hope no one drops a bomb right now. <laughs> oh god, is that... I hope that's the M4A1 making that noise. Okay, yes it is. Uh... Okay. He slid into cover, so that's not optimal. He did just shoot the guy that I helped repair, so that's not great. There we go. I just noticed the MG in the back. Does that does that actually work? Uh it would appear not. Oh. <laughs> I did not know that guy was staring at me for that entire bit. Get out of here. Imagine being that guy, just seeing this KV-1 drive right at you while <laughs> spamming his machine guns in random directions. Yeah, but I don't think that's uh, gonna do a whole lot. I mean, you're welcome to try some more. Oh, nope, it actually is damaging my barrel. That is certainly interesting, I'll say that. Get out of here. If it seems like I'm annoyed, I just hate fighting T-34s so much. They are pure volumetric hell, and I'm also frustrated because my mouth is, like, very dry. And no matter how much water I drink, it stays dry, so it's very annoying. I'm probably sick in some way, but the grind never stops, does it, boys? I hear something American over here. Okay, I don't think he knows that I'm here. And it looks like he is, uh, cresting the hill. Which makes my job so much easier. Oh, there's a heavy tank out in the open over here. You should be able to get a shot into his side if I can get out of this maze. Mr. Heavy Tank, where are you at? Oh, there he is. Uh, pop. There we go. T-14s are really tricky because if you hit the lower side, there's a chance that your round will do absolutely nothing because there are these random 100 millimeter bits of side armor. <laughs> M18? And we one-shot him from the side with a German 75. I swear that never happens. ASU. <laughs> we were so close to dying. Or at least being severely injured. Yeah, our round doesn't have a ton of HE filler, but you can smack dudes pretty well with it. You hit him in the right spot. 
Bop. Got him. Let's see if we can get over this rubble without getting shot. Hi. <laughs> okay, that was mean. That was very mean. Oh, that's a T-14. Okay, that guy's dead. Oh, please actually be damaged in your barrel. I want to know what damaged our engine. Okay, I have absolutely no clue what that was. We kind of got lucky and unlucky with that shot against the T-14 because we did disable him, but we also could have taken out his turret crew if the barrel didn't block it, so... Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> I hate T-34 so much, man. You have no idea. Let's see if we can get a cheeky shot here. If my teammate doesn't drive right in front of me. Alright, what else are we dealing with over here? Something American, given the 50 cal. Uh, bop. Wow, that actually penned? That's pretty surprising. The German 75 doesn't typically have great angled pen. For some reason, I feel like there's a bad guy over here, so... I'm going to investigate. The great War Thunder detective. There was a guy over here. Now there's an M6 over where I was. So it's time to turn around. Another KV-1, and he's dead. The M6 appears to be unaware, for the most part. That was a terrible shot. <laughs> okay. It says his breach is red. I don't really trust that. Uh, Chaffee. He is 110% donezo. How did that kill his driver? <laughs> we have 28 grams of TNT equivalent. That's not a lot. It's not like a low amount, I don't think, but it's not a lot. Oh my goodness. How did we kill that guy? Why why didn't he use his 76 again? That doesn't make any sense. What is this guy? Uh dead. Very dead. Oh. <laughs> like me. Very dead. Water doesn't go bad, does it? Cuz I have this like 80 ounce water bottle that I'm drinking out of and I can't remember the last time I refilled it. Good one, man. <laughs> Wait, you can get fire arc at this BR? Can I see that guy? Uh. <laughs> he turned invisible and we still killed him. The game is trying to tell me that I can't see through those even though I absolutely can. That's huge damage. I swear the M51 is tankier than the M4A1. Rude. Okay, that's one down. Ow! <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. Got him. That's what you get. Now I'm just gonna chill back here, I think. I have to reconsider how I play this match, given my crew got absolutely smoked. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Poor Panther. How is he still alive? Okay, gunner, loader. I'm not quite sure how that penned, but I'll take it. Got him. <laughs> Get out of my house, please. The snacks are gone. It's time to go home. What does that even mean? Oh, we are absolutely being overrun right now. How did that not kill him completely? Please leave me alone. No bomb. Bomb. 
Oh my goodness. How did I hit that? <laughs> it's time to move. Ow, please stop shooting me. I beg. <laughs> I'm getting shot by so many things right now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we were on the move still. So yeah, that's the German KV-1C premium tank. Overall, I would say it's still really good. It's not as good as it used to be, but it used to be overpowered, so... I can't think of any major deficiency with the tank itself. The turret traverse is kinda slow. Gun depression's not great, but it's definitely usable. Anyway, if you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.